Vision Network. You occupy a position that is very much uh, youthful and of course critical to the interests of the teaming youth of Lagos. Can you give us a brief about your person and background which laid the antecedent to the present position that you occupy? Again, thanks very much for having me. So um, I'm a very much a technology person by heart. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in computer and information science uh, from Temple University in Philadelphia. Uh, I also have uh, an MBA in general management and throughout my career I've been either in telecoms or technology and business development uh, uh, sectors as well. Um, I, I spent about eight years in, in telecoms uh, helping uh, one of the telcos in Lagos build out their fiber infrastructure. Uh, across Lagos. Um, I also spent some time as the innovation manager at um, one of the largest uh, cinema chains in West Africa. So I've been in um, a technical capacity for better, uh, the, be the better part of this decade. Um, and um, I've also been in the innovation space, uh, built uh, and helped deploy a number of uh, applications, um, worked at, along the technology value chain, um, even up to the levels of customer service, you know, and, and um, even in, in funding as well. So I, I have quite a, a deep love and affinity for the technology and innovation sector. And it's really my belief that, um, you know, innovation is the key to a deep-seated and long-term economic value. And, and that's what constitutes my being in this position. Thank you so much. The Songolo administration is two years into um, its, its uh, administration. Can you give us uh, some insights into what this government has done, especially as its core card mm -hmm. in the area of innovation and technology? Okay, thank you very much. So, um, we came into office, of course, in May, but my office, the Office of Innovation and Technology, really uh, took off in uh, about September of 2019. I think the first thing we did was not to assume we knew anything and really was to engage with the stakeholders within the ecosystem. Um, that was the baseline for one of our first events, the Art of Technology in December of 2019 where um, we came up with the Innovation and Technology Master Plan for Lagos. And that, that master plan is really to drive um, the innovation agenda in Lagos State. How do we bring innovation to the fore? How do we empower the stakeholders? How do we enable the ecosystem, right, to, for increase in, in products, in services? How do we help create inno um, economic value through innovation? And so the master plan really deals with um, enabling all those antecedents and all those pillars to, to, to bring out economic value within the ecosystem. The Songolu led administration is very much interested in bringing to fruition the Lagos Smart City Initiative within a timeline of uh, now and then 2030. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us some um, insights as to what the government has put in place to ensure that Lagos State um, objective of a mega city mm -hmm. and a smart city comes to reality within this stipulated time. Right. So basically the tenets behind smart city is more efficient management, more efficient running of, of the city through the use of, of technology um, uh, and, and new methods uh, of management. One of the first things uh, that you need to do in the implementation of a smart city is provide the connectivity base layer for different technologies to work, to talk to each other. When you begin to talk about the uh, IoT uh, technologies, um, when, you, when you talk about uh, 
tools like sensors, uh, smart traffic lights, you know, um, smart energy, smart grids and all of that. The, the, the foundation for all that to work is a connectivity based layer, right? Which I've spoken about, which is the, the fiber optic uh, deployment that we are talking about. Now, along that fiber optic deployment, we are connecting all public buildings, right? So the, air, the places you go to for your permits, right? Your land permits, health permits, and all of that will be on top of the um, fiber optic ring, fiber optic network in Lagos. What that, uh, what that portends is that now these agencies, these MDAs can begin to now deploy smart applications, right? To serve consumers can begin to deploy smart applications to manage their own internal operations. Communication between disparate agencies becomes possible. Communication with the citizens becomes much easier. Communication with city management activities and tools becomes more integrated. So you now have a, a thinking city, right? A better managed city. On top of that fiber optic um, uh, layer, we are going to deploy the smart city brain, right? That kind of helps control a lot of activities and efficiently manage it. And this helps um, city planners, decision makers, uh, uh, better insights into how to uh, better manage the city, right? And, and this is the essence of the smart city. Very much delighted. Thank you for having me. This is DG Vision Network.